Hello guys and welcome to the channel, it's your boy TJ Burns here and in today's video we're going to be talking through the cranky villagers in Animal Crossing New Horizons by doing yet another tier list maker. So if you haven't seen one of these before, I've done loads of these and how I assess it is basically from S to D rank with B being the neutral rank. So this is for my personal opinion and my island. If one of these villagers were to move in my island and I wasn't happy, I wasn't sad, I put them in B. If I was happier or super happy, I put them in A and S. And if I was disappointed and just wanted them to leave straight away, they would go down into C and D. So we've got a number of cranky villagers right here below. And we're going to be doing it in alphabetical order, starting with Admiral the Bird. So this is a grumpy kind of bird, I must say. Catchphrase, aye aye. <laughs> I feel like the cranky villagers are going to be quite negative for me. I'm starting off putting Admiral in B. I don't think I'd be happy. I don't think I'd be sad. Next up, we've got Agnes as well. Angus, rather. Angus, Angus, Angus. Similarly, I'm not that f fond of him. Greeting is Macmu. Similarly, going to put him in B. Next up, we have Apollo. Oh, I didn't know Apollo was a cranky villager. I do like Apollo quite a lot. I'm putting him in A. He's going to be at the front. He was on my island once before as well. We've got Avery the bird as well, and I think he's very unique. I do like these birds, I must say. <laughs> Greeting is Screehaw. I'm going to put him in A as well over Admiral and Angus. Thirdly, we have Boris. <laughs> Good old Boris. This is some mean looking pig. Damn. Oof. I don't think he was fit on my island well. I'm going to put him in C tier, in all honesty. Yep, I think he sits there quite well. Okay, next up we have Boyd the gorilla. Where are you, Boyd? This is Boyd right here. Greeting, uh-oh. Boyd as well. Be slightly disappointed if I got him on my island. Next up, we've got Butch. Butch is a cool-looking dog. I think I would be... You know what? I'm going to put him towards the end of A... Actually, hmm. He's either at the front of B tier or end of A tier. I'm going to put him front of B tier. I think that's okay. Next up, we have Buzz, another bird. Where is that big bird gone? Over here. Mr. Buzz, Mr. Buzz. Hmm. Greeting as captain. I do like the birds, I must say. I'm going to put him at the front of B tier. I don't think he's on par with these guys. These guys are very unique. But I still think he's pretty up there. We've got a camouflaged frog called Camo Frog. I must say, very unique and very cool. Greeting is Ten Hut, you know. Belongs in the army. I'm going to put him towards the end of A tier. Just for his uniqueness. Very cool. Okay, we've got another gorilla, ape, whatever you want to call it. Called Caesar. Hmm. Not really a big fan of these apes, I'm afraid. So he's going in the C tier. We've got our first wolf of the day, which is Chief. I think Chief is pretty cool. Didn't know he was cranky as well. I'm going to put Chief at the front of A tier for Shawzies. We got Chow, a big, big, big panda. Kind of reminds me of some Kung Fu panda wannabe. But there's just his mouth. When his mouth is open and he's smiling, it's kind of scary. Greeting is Aya. <laughs> I'm going to put him at the end of B tier. I don't think I'd be quite disappointed with end B tier. B tier. We've got another frog called Croak. <laughs> Croak. <laughs> Greeting is As If. Kind of scares me a bit as well. Reminds me of whoever that uh, ape was. I'm going to put him at the front of C tier. Next up we have Kurt. Uh, I had Kurt on my island move in unintentionally. I did not want him. He just moved in. I do not like him at all. I'm going to put him towards... You know, just because he's been on my island, Kurt's going in D tier, I apologise. Got our first elephant of the day though, and that is Sid. I think Sid is pretty cool and quite unique. I'm putting Sid at towards A tier, maybe just be after Apollo, I think. Okay, we've got our first anteater as well, Cyrano. Um, I think he's better than other anteaters, if I'm being honest, but at the same time, not a fan. So I'm going to put him in C tier. <laughs> Towards the end as well, just to rub it in. We've got some weird crocodile. I don't know what it's supposed to be on the side of his mouth, but boots. Boot, no, no, not boots, rather. Dell. I had boots on my island. I was thinking of him. But Dell, it's kind of weird as well. Oh, goodness. I'm going to put him towards the end of CT. I think a lot of the cranky villagers are going to be towards the bottom. Dobby as well, or Doby. He's kind of weird. He's a weird wolf. He's an old, wise-looking wolf. I'm going to put him in B tier as well. I don't think he deserves to be any higher. Got our first lion called Elvis. He's looking mad grumpy. All these grumpy villagers, you know. I'm going to put Elvis in B. I think him being a lion is quite unique. 
but I'm definitely no higher. We've got Fang. Fang's quite cool. I'm putting Fang in A as well towards the front end. The wolves are cool, okay? You're probably going to see this based on this, but I like the wolves, okay? I think they're pretty cool. We've got Frank. Frank is another unique bird, but the color scheme is kind of weird for this one. I'm going to put Frank in the B tier, probably above all the rest of these guys. Uh, somewhere there, yep. Gaston. Now, Gaston. <laughs> I don't really know how to react to him. I, I think I've seen him on a couple of people's islands. He is quite unique, and that mustache kind of makes me laugh. I might actually put him at the very front of B tier. Maybe A tier, but I think front of B tier will do for now. Next up, we've got Koala. First one of the day called Gonzo. Koalas, I don't hate him. I don't love him. Neutral. Easy choice for me. We've got another big bear called Grizzly. Uh, Grizzly, oh, I'm not really a fan of these big bears. I'd be kind of disappointed if I'm honest. So he's going into C. Similarly, we've got Groucho as well. I think sticking right there with Grizzly. Going straight in there. Gruff. I've never actually seen Gruff before now. A unique goat. <laughs> hmm. I think his well his greeting is ble -e -e. I think I'm gonna put him towards the front of B tier. I don't think he's quite A, but he's quite unique. I've not seen him before. See now Humphrey. Humphrey's a weird one because I kind of like don't like him, but at the same time I kind of do. So I'm gonna put him at the front of B tier as well, just after Gaston. We've got Harry, who's a hippo with some mad moustache as well. Kind of like weird. I'm gonna put him towards the end of B tier. Now, we've got a Kung Fu Penguin called Hopper. I actually do like Hopper. At first when I saw him, I was like, it's just a penguin. But like, he always wears Kung Fu stuff. He looks kind of cool. I'm going to put him towards the end of A tier. That might trigger some of you guys. But let me know your opinions in the comments, please. I always love doing these videos and seeing what you guys agree with or disagree with. We've got Ike. I think Ike's a bit more of a unique bear than the other ones. So I'm going to put him towards the end of B tier. I think I'd be less inclined to boot him off, to be fair. Kabuki is very unique. Again, kind of weird, though. Me, oh, it's like some weird, like, rest. I don't even know. I'm going to put him right at the front of B tier. Almost A tier, but I, keep, I, I still think I'm a bit neutral on that one. We've got a chicken called Nox with a bell on his head. <laughs> Taco Bell. Um, greeting is clucking. He's a royal chicken, I must say. You know what? I'm going to put him towards the end of B tier. I think I rate him more than the people I see here. Okay, we got Limburg now, first mouse of the day. I'm not really a fan of these mice, and especially this one. He looks kind of weird. He's going at the end of C tier. Now, Lobo, I do like Lobo. I don't think he's as refined as the other wolves, so I'm just going to put Lobo towards the middle around here of B tier. I think that's a good spot for him. We move on to our first little monkey of the day called Monty. Now, Monty's quite peculiar, quite unique as well. Greeting is Gatang or G Tang, I don't even know. <laughs> That's a weird one. Um, Monty, I don't think I'd be happy, I don't think I'd be upset. I'm going to put Monty maybe around here. There we go. Now, we have a little bear called Murphy. I just saw him on an island whilst I was searching. Not a big fan, not really offended. I'll keep him there. We have Octavian. <laughs> now, Octavian, I'm going to put an S tier just because these um, octopus are so rare. There's only three, Octavian, Marina, and Zucker. And he's funny. He's just iconic. Look at that grumpy face. He literally looks cranky. The definition of a cranky villager right there. Next up, we've got Peewee, another gorilla. Um, I think I like Peewee more than the other two, if I'm honest. I'm going to put him somewhere in around here for B tier. Thank you. We got Rasher. Rasher's kind of weird as well. It's like some beat up pig. He's going to become a Rasher of bacon. His code, or his code, not his catchphrase, is swine. Um, I'm going to put him, I think, towards the end of B tier as well. Okay, next up we got Ricky. Now, Ricky's quite cool. I'm going to put him in A tier. A cool looking uh, squirrel. Greeting his nutcase. I do like him. I might even bump him up about here as well in A tier. Pretty cool. Rizzo. I don't know what this hair is, but I find it weird. Like, why is it? What is this on his head? I don't really like it at all, if I'm honest. And for that reason, I'm, I might, I'm going to put him in D, you know. Just that hair. I don't know. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah. Sorry to just break your heart there, Rizzo, but that's what I feel. Okay, next up, we've got a hippo called Rocco. I think he's quite plain. Um, greetings, hippie. Nothing really much to him. Because of that plainness, I'm going to put him about here. 
in the B tier as well. Next up, we got Rolf, a white tiger. I think that's quite cool. Greeting is Grolf. <laughs> Literally got his name in this greeting. I think he's quite unique. I'm going to put him towards the start of B tier. Um, I don't think they're super amazing. I think like like the tigers could be a bit better. But yeah, almost kind of like, oh, I'm kind of happy to have you. But I know there's better villagers out there. Next up, we've got our first kangaroo called Rooney. Now, like I said, kangaroos without their babies are nothing, man. So I think if I was searching for kangaroos and saw this one without any baby, I'd be like, oh, damn. It's kind of sad. But saying that Rooney isn't too bad. So I'm going to put him right at the end of B tier. And then we move on to Roscoe the horse. I think tall, dark, and handsome, really. Greeting his neigh. I'm going to put him towards the front of B tier. I uh, don't think he'd be too happy, but I wouldn't be disappointed. Next up, we have Spike. <laughs> Spike the Rhino. Greeting Punk. He's literally like a punk rhino. Got two horns. I think it's the only horn, uh, the only rhino with two horns. Um, again, because of that two horns and his uniqueness, I'm going to put him towards the end of B. But yeah, I don't think any, any higher. Static. Now, let me say, I really do like Static. I think he's quite cool. And because of that, Static is going up in S tier as well. I think he's a very unique guy. I like that literally, like, I don't know, he just reminds me of a Pokemon or something. Greeting is Krzzt. I don't even know how to say that. Okay, next up we got T-Bone. Again, I think T-Bone's quite plain Jane, really. Uh, nothing really to him, but I don't hate him. I think he's quite high up in this B tier. But damn, B tier's looking big. Next up we got a Tomcat. I do like the Tomcat. Not gonna, not gonna lie. Um, but... I don't think he's quite A tier worthy. Tomcat's going at the front of B tier. Next up we got Vic. You know what, yeah? I actually kind of do like Vic. He's quite unique. He reminds me of a Viking. So personally, uh, I'm going to either put him at the end. No, let me, I'm going to put him at the front of B tier as well. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put him at the end of A tier. Vic. Some of you might uh, disagree with me on that one. And that is fair enough. But I think he's very unique. He kind of reminds me of Vikings. I think he's quite cool. We've got a bear called Vladimir with a buck tooth as well. Um, I think he's one of the better ones towards the front of B tier. Also, moving on to Walt, another kangaroo with no child. Hmm, <laughs> a childless kangaroo or a male kangaroo, I guess. I guess only the females have a pouch. I don't even know. Yeah, they probably do. I don't know. I probably sound stupid. Hey ho. But for Walt, I'm putting him at B tier, probably around same as the other one. <laughs> now we have a frog called Wart Jr. And I mean, it's kind of ugly and kind of disgusting, but um, just like a frog covered in warts. Uh, I couldn't sit him, see him fitting on my island. I'm going to put him towards the end of C tier. I still think he's unique though and better than these two weirdos. This guy just, he like literally, he, he's just, Kurt is on my, or whatever his name is, is here just because he moved into my island without my consent. Okay, we have Wolfgang. Wolfgang is well cool. See, now with these wolves, I don't know whether to put them in A or S, but... Wolfgang I'm going to put up here. I'm going to put like Audi, Sky, Whitney and S. So I think, yeah, that's reasonable to put him in A. And finally we have, I think, who's this? Zell or I can't remember his name. Um, but I do like him as well. Very unique. Ooh. I'm going to put him at the very front of A tier. But yeah, that is essentially then is everyone. Quite a lot of people that I'm okay with. Uh, not many people in S tier. But not many people in B tier. Just quite a lot of average villagers in my mind. It's almost perfectly balanced. We've got like two, two, almost a full line, almost a full line. Literally, it's almost perfectly balanced. But yeah, that has been the cranky villagers. <laughs> I don't think they're my favourite set of villagers. But let me guys, uh, let me know in the comments, guys, what you think as well. If you want to try one of these yourself, feel free to do so and message me on Discord or anything. Loads of links in the description to that. And why not check out my other tier list um, makers? that I've done, the videos. <laughs> but if you enjoyed that, please do slap a like on it, and hopefully I'll see you in a stream or two or in the next video. But thank you very much. See you later.